Hey, welcome to yet another edition of Experience Sessions right here on IndigoMusic.com. I'm Rohit and joining me right now is yet another independent artist. An Anisha, welcome to IndigoMusic.com. Thank you so much, Rohit. Thank you for having me. Now, Anisha, let's begin with, uh, you know, uh, when did music happen to you? When was that, that moment when you realized that, hey, you know what, I got to get into music? Oh, man, that was, um, I don't know, I've always had a bug in me, Rohit. I've always been in music in a certain right. sense. Like my, my, what do you call it, preschool that I was in, my um, uh, uh, principal of my preschool in my report card wrote that I used to sing really well and my parents should put me into like boy, voice classes. Right. So I think music has been with me since I was a kid. But uh, one defining moment was that I used to be a psychologist before I was a musician. And I was working in a school and it just felt like the walls of the school were kind of caving in on me. And I was like, I need to get out and do something creative. So that happened about like four years ago. Fantastic. And uh, how has it been for you as an independent artist from when you began from when you began to now? How has this journey been? Is it been hard? Is it been easy going? What is your experience? I mean, it's hard for sure. It's super hard because, you know, your music is super uncertain. Um, it's also very much based on it. You don't just have to make music. You have to like put the music out, reach an audience, create a fan base. So I'm performing like all the functions on my own Rohit. And sometimes that gets like super overwhelming from like figuring out artwork to shoots to it's just like never ending really. So it is hard, but I mean, I chose to lie in this bed. So and I love what I do. So I guess it's super enjoyable as well. And I guess maybe inshallah, I will look back at this journey one day when I'm like a big musician somewhere and be like, get the hard work paid off. Absolutely. I think that's what people, you know, that the, the more struggle you have, I think the more success you get. I think that's something that everyone I've seen or even myself. So uh, that's hats off to you. And uh, let's talk about your track. You know, I heard the track and immediately I messaged in, uh, you know, to uh, the the person I was in touch with for this interview, I was like, yeah, let's get her on air. Now, this track is called Just Want You. What is this track all about? What's the inspiration behind this track? Yeah, so I wrote this track. It was two years in the making. I started writing it in lockdown and it was inspired by two friends who were going through a super dramatic relationship. The guy was with another girl and my best friend uh, was kind of into this guy and they were exploring things on the side. I mean, it's a big story, right. <laughs> which I wouldn't like tell the whole of radio, but yeah. And I was sitting there languishing away at home with my folks. Like I had nothing to inspire me. So I took their story as an inspiration and I started writing the lyrics based on that. Um, and I produced the first draft of the song myself. And that was like two years ago in like 2021 or whatever. And then I got two co-producers on board to help me finish the track. Their names are Dennis Thomas and Utkarsh Varma from Sh the Sh from Shoals Official. Okay. Um, and yeah, they both were involved in the track at different times. Uh, but I'm super happy with how it's come out finally. So yeah, we all co-produced the track and I feel like it has the kind of punchy groove and grit that uh, the song is like kind of, you know, controversial in what it's exploring. So I wanted the production to kind of match that, you know, with sort of like, like dirty grooves and more like punchy synths and stuff. So that was what my aim with the song was. Fantastic. Now, how's 2023 looking for you? What are the plans? Uh, new track, new album, new EP. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it. <laughs> I am. I made a goal. I'm, I'm going to be releasing one song a month, Rohit. So the next one is actually a remix collaboration with an international artist. Oh, wow. Her name okay. is Ella, yeah, her name is Ella Styles, and she has remixed "Just Want You," which I will also send across to you. Sure. Uh, she's made like a super cool techno, like clubby remix of the song with my vocals, which I love. So that's coming out like on the third of Feb, which I'm just uh, figuring everything out for that release. But I have a lot of releases planned, so I think I'll be talking to you more consistently through this year <laughs> awesome looking forward to all your releases as well uh you know we we always love to especially this song remix like you said uh into uh, techno and edm stuff uh, it's going to obviously sound great uh you, anisha thank you so much for connecting thank you so much for having this chat we'll be playing your tracks on air on radio both in bangalore and in goa we'll connect soon Ooh, i live in goa so you can hear your track on goa in goa indigo 91.9 fm 
I so, love Indigo 91.9 FM. I've been listening to it for the last 15 years. <laughs> fantastic. So yeah, we, you can listen to your song on radio in Goa, and I'll tell you exactly when it's going to play out, so you can tune in. Well, thank you so much for connecting, and uh, all the best for 2023. All the best for your musical career. Thank you so much. Nice all right. To speak to you. Same. Likewise. Take care.